Dragon Age 2 was rated M for Mature by the ESRB and contains blood and gore, language, sexual content, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone, my name is Emma Roneth and I play games for the internet and today we're playing Dragon Age 2. Last time we cleared out everything we needed to do in Kirkwall and uh, we are ready to go down into the deep roads. So, uh, let's talk to Bartrand. So are you ready? It's a long trek. If you have any business you need to wrap up here, you'd better do it now. Uh, nope, I already did that. Let's go. I'm ready. Let's get started. And let's not waste any more time. We've chosen one of the hidden entrances. The deep roads there will be nice and virginal. Ready for a good deflowering. Ha! <laughs> now there's an interesting image. It'll take a week for us to get to the depth we need. There are bound to be leftover darkspawn from the blight. Big risks, big rewards. Sounds like fun. Risks, rewards, what could be better? Exactly! Now, before we... Wait, who invited the old woman? I'm sorry to interrupt, Sir Dwarf. But I need to speak with my children. Mother! I told you not to get involved with this. I just want to know one thing. Are you planning on taking Bethany with you? Yes, of course. I can't leave Bethany behind. I need her. Mother, I'll be fine. I want to go. It's not fine. You can't both go. What if something will happen to you? You, I understand wanting to do this. But leave your sister here, I beg you. It's the Templars or the Darkspawn, Mother. At least I'm allowed to fight Darkspawn. Well, you're not going to be able to take everyone anyhow. You'll need to decide. I'm going to make a very stupid decision. And I'm going to take Bethany, because I just said I was going to. I'm going to take Anders, because Anders is a Grey Warden. And when there's Darkspawn around, you want a Grey Warden. So we're going to be two rogues and two mages. <laughs> This'll be fun. Bethany, I beg you. Don't go. Don't do this. I'll be fine, Mother, I promise. This will work out for the best. You'll see. Personal drama over with? Now let's get underway. Been a long time coming, eh, brother? That it has. The deep roads await! No! This can't be right. The champion and his apostate sister came to Kirkwall to spread subversion against the Chantry. Oh my but god. But you claim this wasn't the case. The champion just happened to have dealings with the Canari, joined forces with a known raider, a blood mage, a rebel warden, and for what? Coin? Maybe it's not as simple as you imagine, Seeker. Simple? Do I need to remind you what your friends did? Yes. Do I need to tell you how many lives have been lost? How many more will be lost? Yes. You cannot sit there and tell me he is innocent. Yes. I don't know if innocent is the right word exactly. He must have known. Somehow the champion knew what was down there. That's why he wanted to join your expedition. What's down no. there? None of us knew. If we had... He wouldn't have let his sister step foot into that blighted hole. Is that so? Then tell me your version of what happened on this expedition. Well, we entered the deep roads as planned, but we didn't get very far. So we already know this is going to go bad.
There's been a collapse. The way forward is blocked. What? Is there some way around? Not that I've been able to find. The side passages are too dangerous. Useless! What am I paying you blighters for? Shit camp! <laughs> Problems, brother? Sodding deep roads. Who knows how long it'll take to clear the path. Shall we not try to find a way around instead? Seems like the logical choice. You think I'm an idiot, Barrack? Yes. The scouts say the side passages are too dangerous. Good thing I'm no scout. See? This is why you bring someone like me along. We'll take a look. If we come running back, screaming, you'll know staying put was the right decision. Fine. Fine. Find a way around. Just do it quickly. This is why I left the Wardens. I hate the blighted deep roads. Ah, I hate to add to your burdens, my friends, but I fear I must. I fear my boy Sandal wandered off. He's somewhere in those passages right now. I beg you, keep an eye out for him. He just doesn't understand danger like he should. How did he go missing? When did you last see him? Not a half hour ago, I turned my back to hand out rations and he was gone. He gets so easily distracted. Oh, I should have been harsher with my warnings. <sighs> Sorry, he did a drink. You think he's still alive? One man out there alone. What are his chances? My boy is sturdier than you think. If he has one of his enchantments with him, he'll survive. He's burned down a house twice by accident. I'm more worried about him getting lost. Oh, my poor boy. We'll look for him. We'll bring him back in one piece. Or maybe two. Hard to say, really. Poor Sandal. I can't believe he's done this. Let's move quickly, then. Poor Key. Hey, Broski. We're supposed to dig through that. We're supposed to dig through that. You see Bowden's boy walk off? No. Did you? I'm not his mother, am I? I bet he got eaten. If you wander around in the dark, you'll be eaten by a groom. I read that somewhere. <laughs> There's no such thing as a groom. Now, dark spots, those are plenty. I hate just sitting around waiting. Better than digging. Digging makes noise, attracts things. Good point. Oh boy. You were eaten by a groom. <laughs> it's been a long time since I heard that joke. Just poking around. Screaming, always good. Oh god damn it. I'll deal with this. That's right. You heard me. So, I'm going to be honest, I actually already did this, but something happened, and I had to record the entire episode over again. Not that uh, there was like a technical issue or anything, something happened in game.
and uh, it's very much a no. I refuse. So this is where Darkspawn come from, bastards. Yep, it was very much no. I refuse. That's not going to happen. So. Go down. That should do it. Go this way. <sighs> okay, actually, um, Can we open this door? No. Well, I'll 
I'll be a Nug's uncle. Isn't that Bodan's boy? Hello? He survived this entire time. Good job. I'd really like to know how you managed to kill all of them. Boom. And how did you do that? <laughs> Not enchantment. Smart boy. Come on. We still need to find a way past that collapse. Ah. Oh, Lyrium. Deep roads. Nothing here. And here we go. Keeping score, right? <sighs> Can't go in that way. Oy, 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 oy. I don't like the looks of this. All set. <laughs> your step. That should do it. All set. Done. Did I really miss out the entire fight because I was doing traps? Ah. Uh. It's fine.
for Isabella. give that okay okay A dragon? cat is uh, doing a yell. actually not my, my cat that's doing it, probably. It's most likely my housemate's cat magic. <sighs> I'm sure you've talked about it, how uh, I have one cat, my housemate has two. Ah, here we go. This goes right where we want it to. Let's go back and tell Bartrand. He'll be so pleased. Bartrand! We found a way around your damned cave-in. It's about time. Let's move out! Screw you, man. Holy shit. Is this what you were expecting? I thought an abandoned dying, something old, but what is this? How did you even know it was here? Old scavenger tales. After the third blight. A week below the surface, they said. But nobody believed them. Looks like they were right. Make camp here. We need to look around.
I'm like getting very, very tired. Which is upsetting. I don't get it. Nothing in this tide makes sense. Why's that? We're well below the deep roads. Whatever dwarves lived here, they came long before the first blight. But where are the statues of Paragons? I don't recognize these markings on the wall or anything in the rubble. That means it's valuable. Whatever's here must be very rare and valuable. Hmm. Possibly. These dwarves might have been unique. If so, I hope they kept their valuables close at hand. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. This place is supposed to be something special. Martin sure seems taken by this place. Why? I didn't get it. He says he's never seen anything like it. Maybe some kind of forgotten city. The dwarves forget stuff like this. I guess so. This place better be worth it. Oh, mood. So... Oh, I can't remove runes. Okay. Oh, pardon me. Oh, right, 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 right. You found him! I can't believe it! You found him! Hello? I owe you a great debt. I will repay it somehow. I swear my life on it. Repay? What do you have in mind? I don't know, but I will find a way. I will not forget what I owe you. I swear it. Say thank you to the nice man for saving your life's handle. Thank you. Enchantment? My boy's quite good at it. Does any of your equipment require enchanting? Let's see what he can do. Sadly, we don't have any runes, but I wanted to make him happy. Oof. Hmm. Whatever's through there, it seems still intact. Think we'll find anything? You don't seem excited. Bartrand is far more enthralled with this place than you are. Unlike him, I wasn't born in Orzammar. I wouldn't even be down here if there wasn't profit in it. This entire place gives me the chills. Let's hope it's worth it. I doubt it. Chances are we won't find anything but even more darkspawn and rubble. Maybe bones. Hmm. I suppose we'll need to go down there to find out. I'm actually... Needing to pause here for just a moment. And we'll save. Whoops. And, uh, give me just a second. Okay, hi, I'm back. Uh,. <laughs> You're going to laugh at me. What I had settled down to do 
was take a uh, 20 minute nap just to get my energy back up I slept for like four hours <laughs> and then I just never went back to recording uh, so yeah In the meantime, I, um, looked up a better walkthrough than what I was using. So. And like I've mentioned using walkthroughs, I don't know if I actually explained. Um, I'm using walkthroughs just to, like, double check and make sure things don't go wrong. So, or at least they don't go the way I want them to go. But. Ooh. You see what I'm seeing? Is that lyrium? It's definitely magic. And not the good kind. Doesn't look like any kind of lyrium I've ever seen. Look at this, Bartrand. An idol made out of pure lyrium, I think. Could be worth a fortune. You could be right. Excellent find. Hmm. Not bad. We'll take a look around. See if there's anything further in. I kind of you wish that. that we got a better... The door! Did he just shut us in? Bartrand! It's shut behind you! He just shut us in! <laughs> you always did notice everything, Varric. Are you joking? You're going to screw over your own brother for a lousy idol? Not just the idol. The location of this tag alone is worth a fortune, and I'm not splitting that three ways. Wow. Sorry, brother. Bartrand! Bartrand! Ooh, I swear I will find that son of a bitch. Sorry, mother, and I will kill him. Oh, let's hope there's a way out of here. Great. I knew Bartrand was a bastard, but this... His own little brother? Like, maybe it's just me, because the way I play Hawk... Oh my god.
Really? So do you think the fact that there are so many demons around has anything to do with that red lyrium idol? At least I think it was red. And what are these things? Bloody flames, what were those things? That's what I was wondering. They look like rock creatures. Where's my dog? Did they kill my dog? Theodore is immortal. Trust it, amen. Yep. of help there kill him when we find him. Enough. What? You have proven your mettle. I would not see these creatures harmed without need. Define without need. I'd say being attacked on sight gives us plenty of need. They will not assault you further, not without my permission. What are these things? They seem like rock wraiths, but... They hunger. The profane have lingered in this place for ages beyond memory, feeding on the magic stones until the need is all they know. They eat the lyrium. Sounds like a healthy diet. I am not as they are. I am a visitor. Uh, Anders? It seems mostly interested in their hunger. It's a demon come to feed. I would not see my feast end. I sense your desire. You seek to leave this place, but you will need my aid to do so. Don't do it. Demons will trip you up every time. Be careful. I don't like the sound of this. What are our options? How will you help me? Why do we need your aid to leave? There is another door that leads into the paths far above us. That is what you seek. It has been sealed, however, and cannot be opened without a key. I know where the key is. Do as I ask, and I shall tell you. Hmm. 
So what do you think? We refuse. I'm not becoming that thing's next meal. Most unwise. Ha! Now you fall! Sorry, just double checking. You don't want to forget anything. What is this place? This is the vault. The dwarves would have brought there. Giant demon. That can't be good. Oh no! Wrong. Okay. Whew. The rock wraiths are supposed to be dwarven legends. They're not even supposed to be real. Look pretty real to me. I suppose it doesn't matter. Look at what it was guarding. Ooh. -er. Let's see if there's something that can help get us out of here. First things first. Really? It's barely anything at all. Alright. And... Uh, crypt? Crypt key. key? The kind that opens doors, I... Let's collect the best pieces we can carry out of here and then go. Oh. Yeah. All right, that seems to be everything here. Um. Nah. Nah. Let's
let me out. Let me out. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's level up. Embellishment. Bethany. And Anders. Say this is our way back. How long to get back? If we're unlucky, maybe a week. And if we're lucky, we stumble over Bartrand's corpse on the way. <laughs> this part of the deep roads looks familiar. We're back where we started. And in only five days. Not bad, eh? Could we... slow down? I I'm not feeling very well. We can stop for a bit. Let's make camp if you're sick. <laughs> I'll wager it was those deep mushrooms we found. That... she's not looking good. No. <gasps> Bethany! It's the blight. I can sense it. I'll end up just like Wesley, won't I? Why didn't you say anything? That's just like you, keeping this to yourself. What could you have done? Swoop to my rescue? Yes. I'm not going to last until the surface. <sighs> it's coming on faster. There might be something we can do. I stole the maps from a warden that had come to Kirkwall. I wanted to know if he was looking for me. He wasn't. The maps were for planning their own expedition into the deep roads. You could have mentioned that. Way to keep it to yourself, Anders. I was trying to avoid them. And you just wanted the maps. If the Wardens are here, I know where. We could bring Bethany to them. And do what? Become a Grey Warden? Would, the, would it work? Is becoming a Grey Warden a cure? Yes, I suppose it is. But it's not without a price. One not everyone is willing to pay. What does that mean? What price? Maker's breath, spit it out! The process of becoming a warden is... unpleasant. And irreversible. It also means you might never see your sister again. She might survive the blight, but at the cost of becoming a Grey Warden. It's not an easy life, trust me. You got away from them. What about you? You're not a Grey Warden anymore. You think I got away? Eventually they or the Circle will drag me back. I've got no illusions about that. <sighs> Would they even agree? Is this even possible? How does someone become a Grey Warden? I can't tell you. But it's not something you can undo once it's done. Even if you want to. This just keeps sounding better and better. They might agree to it, however. That's if we can find them in time. We have to try. I don't see any better options. Then I hope I'm right. Hmm. What's wrong? I think they're nearby. Or it could be Darkspawn. Oh. Oops. 
Anders. Fancy meeting you here, Stroud. I could say the same. Aren't you supposed to be dead? That's the rumor. But I didn't come here to swap stories with you. You mean the girl as a recruit? Of course you do. I'm sorry. I know this comes as no comfort to you, but... We do not recruit Grey Wardens out of pity. It is no kindness. No pity required. Bethany happens to be a powerful mage. You'd be an idiot not to recruit her. Be that as it may, I cannot. Stroud, trust me when I say this one is worth your time. With the blight over, you Wardens don't have recruits lining up. This is no simple thing, Anders. This may be as much a death sentence as the sickness. And you know it. She'll die anyway. Take her and try. I'm asking you. Huh. Well, I'll try. But if I do this, then we are even. If the girl oh. comes, she comes now. And you may not see her again. Being a Grey Warden is not a cure. It is a calling. Are you sure about this? Not at all. I'm not sure about anything, but I want you to live. We must move quickly if we are to make the surface in time. Then, I guess this is it. Take care of Mother. Yeah, so if you don't have Anders with you, whatever sibling you bring down with you, if whether it's Bethany or Carver, dies. Home sweet home. Finally. Oh, I wonder if Bartran came back to the city. You think I'd be that lucky? Probably not. Luck hasn't exactly been our strong point so far. This is true. I'm sorry about what happened to your sister. She'll make it. Bethany's a strong girl. I should have seen Bartran's betrayal coming. I'll find that maggot if it's the last thing I do. I imagine you'll be heading home to uh, tell the family. I don't have much choice. You'll be a wealthy man, Hawk. It wasn't all for nothing. Yeah. However, if you leave... Uh, well... Mm. Oh, my baby! You made it home! Bethany isn't with you? No. Is she... coming back? I don't know. So the champion's sister was a Grey Warden. Yes, but that's not the connection you're looking for. Isn't it? The involvement of the Grey Wardens makes perfect sense. And the champion's companions, Meryl, Aveline, Isabella, that Warden Anders. Don't remind me. I introduced them. We thought they all came from Ferelden together, but now it makes sense. Motive and opportunity. It's still not what you think. Then I need to hear more. Unless you've already decided. I can always go if you don't need me anymore. Tell me what came next. The treasure we found in the deep roads made us a fortune. The champion moved up in the world. Literally. Bought a mansion in Hightown. Everyone knew who he was now. 
Even the Viscount was taking notice. The Grey Wardens left Kirkwall. It was months before we learned Bethany survived. Three years later, the Kunari still hadn't left. The Kunari insisted they were waiting for their ship. But some of us knew better. <clears throat> yeah, uh, whatever sibling you leave behind, uh, Bethany gets taken by the Circle. And Carver joins the Templars. Bastard. <laughs> yes, Hawk, you've been here before. Come on. The compound was not meant to be permanent. There are concerns the Kunari influence is no longer contained. Was it ever? Kirkwall has tension enough between Templar and Mage. But these Kunari, they sit like gargoyles waiting for Maker knows what and everyone goes mad around them. Nearly four years I've stood between fanatics. And now, this. A book! My god, they want him to read! Don't keep us in suspense. Leave us. Meredith at my throat, Orsino at my heels, and a city scared of heretical giants. We never actually Balance met Orsino. Because the Conari ask for nothing. Even the space in Lowtown was a gift to contain them. But now, the Arishok has requested you. By name. What did you do? <laughs> I get around. I can't help it if I make an impression. Apparently not. I remember how you helped my son. It seems you are meant to have influence above your station. Speak to the Arishok. Give him what he needs to keep the peace. Can you do that for Kirkwall, Sarah Hawk? What does the Arishok want? Any idea what I can expect? None. Honestly, I don't think I've heard two direct words from the Arishok. Other than his rather deliberate phrasing of gone. If you think he's asking me to notify you of this is strange, well, you would be right. Why not expel the Canari? Sounds like you'd be better off without this headache. They will not leave, and we don't have the resources to force the issue. At least, not in a way that would leave the city intact. If they had come to conquer, I suspect they would have done so. Who is against the Canari? I've seen hate for them, but I haven't heard anything major in years. Zealots are bravest where their lies can't be argued, behind closed doors. Chantry leaders see Canari beliefs as a challenge, not an attack. But the message gets muddled among casual adherents. I'm certainly not equipped to argue the fine points of faith. Do you fear war? The Canari usually arrive as conquerors. Odd that this has gone on so long. Very, and I have no interest in antagonizing them. That is partially why I suffer being a messenger today. A treaty exists, and it has been honored. Although... Uh, you have doubts. They claim they're waiting for a second ship. But it has been three years. They want something else. How's your son? Have the years been kind to Seamus? He is his own man. But your actions tempered him somewhat. He's not so angry at the world. I thank you for that. I may not agree with him on many things, but uh, I am proud of what he is becoming. Have you told him that? 
we're wealthy enough, but I don't want to be a pushover, but... Mm, I'll help for a price. Is this a paid position? I'm somewhat in demand. You've served yourself, built a fortune, I give you that. But if you, and only you, cannot calm this situation, I fear the only reliable investment will be in swords and armor. Serve your city, and then we will talk about what you are due. The Arishok is waiting. Standing <laughs> down is looking more and more appealing. New quest demands of the Kuhn. Well, as it is now, a day later, and very early in the morning, uh, I'm gonna stop here. For now, I'll be back, don't worry. <laughs> and tend to the distress that my housemate's cat seems to be in, probably hungry. Uh, and uh, in the meantime, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.